Hi there folks and welcome to lesson number three um, in our computer literacy course and today we're going to be looking at operating systems. What are they? How do they function? What do they actually do for us? So without further ado, let's jump into today's video. So one of the biggest pieces of software that, you, that you're going to use is called your, your operating system. In other words, the program that controls everything that happens on your computer, on your laptop, even your smartphone. So we're going to use the example of Windows at the moment. The latest version of Windows is Windows 10. So when you go into a computer shop and they tell you that this laptop has Windows 10, um, they are simply telling you that's the program that runs everything on the computer that makes sure you know there is security, that makes sure that things are functioning well. Um, that is the basis of what you need for everything to function on your computer. On smartphones, you have some smartphones that use Windows. Some, um, I know like Apple use uh, iOS, that's their operating system. And then um, Android devices, they generally have different versions that come out and they've always got these weird names like KitKat and I don't know, <laughs> all these different types of things. But when they give you those names, please just understand the operating system is the program that manages everything in the background that um, gives you things like your desktop. So when you actually go into a computer um, and you've put in a username and password, again, which the operating system handles, so the mere fact that when you switch your, your smartphone on and they're asking, you know, to, to put in a, a code or, um, you know, one of those one of those patterns, that's what the operating system is doing. The operating system allows you to do those things. Once you go in, you have what's known as your desktop. So on your smartphone, it's, it's a little different because you've just got a screen full of apps, but it works the same. That's your desktop. You can see um, we've got different things like icons. This is similar. On your smartphones as well so these are what are known as icons this whole first screen is known as your desktop you also have in the bottom left hand corner uh, what's known as a start button and then in windows 10 we have these different tiles over here so let me give you a practical example from from the computer that i'm working on this is my desktop these here all those highlighted items they are all my icons there's my Windows Start button. So when I click on it, there you can see this is the list of all the programs that I've got plus the tiles over here. Okay, then I've got my quick launch uh, taskbar. And again, I'm going to go uh, to my desktop. And there you can see these are programs that are specifically put here because I access them regularly. So when I click on them, here for example, Word, I click on it, it will open that program okay so we've got our desktop we've got our icons those small things there in fact when you look at the apps on your phone they are also icons as well we've got our start button um, I know on on your phones you'll have the home button at the bottom we have got a quick launch toolbar and in the right hand corner we've got a notification area as well so this is the basic layout of the first screen that you'll see um, when you actually deal with your computer. Then we've got what's known as the GUI, the graphical user interface. That just means that all these things that we had here, the icons, desktop tiles, they all fall under uh, what's known as the graphical user interface because around about, oh, what's it like, 30, 40 years ago, when the first computers came out, they didn't even have these things. I mean, it was like a black screen with white writing, okay? So... Yeah, that's basically what they're saying. Then I know in the video we did check out a mouse and what you can do with the mouse. The mouse allows us to do a couple of things. Like I showed you in the video on the left side, we can click with it. We can double click with it. We can right click with it. We can drag things and we can scroll. Now, when you use your smartphone, your finger becomes the mouse because with your finger, what are you doing? You're selecting things. You are dragging things. You are, you know, scrolling through Facebook, all of that. So your finger effectively uh, becomes the mouse. So generally you'll find, you know, you have Windows, like Windows version 10, Windows version 11. 
Um, your phones are a little different. Some of them are Windows phones. Others have what they call Android, which is the operating system on here. Um, others like Apple, they have their own operating system as well. So it is, it is important to know that because that has implications. Your Android devices generally work with anything, okay? So it's like a sort of a free for all, but very versatile, very good devices. Um, I'm not gonna, you know, support any particular brand, but these are the things you need to know. Again, it's a little different because Apple has their own operating system, own iOS store as well. Uh, and Apple can become, you know, a very exclusive piece of hardware to have because Apple likes working with Apple. The operating system is there to manage everything that happens on that device. The operating system is what gives me my icons on the screen. My operating system is what enables me to, you know, scan my finger, to put in my code, to type in my password when I log onto my machine, to type in my password when I log onto my laptop. Those are some of the features, just a few of the features of what the operating system actually does.